New at 5, a local veteran is uh, standing up for the flag and standing up for what's right. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay joins us live now from the Madison County Service Center. And Jillian, let's bring us up to date. Why are you there in the first place? Well, Marie and Dan, you know, a few days ago, Jack Horner was passing by this tag office and service center on Memorial Parkway. And he told me as a local Vietnam veteran, the first thing he noticed were the flags. Take a look at this. This is just a few hours ago. The American and Alabama flags looked like this, and now they look like this. Horner says he reported the flags to staff inside the service center, but he never heard back. That's when he called us this morning because to him and hopefully to all Americans, the flag is so much more than just 50 stars and 13 stripes. My brothers and sisters didn't die for nothing. I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. So it's not about me. It's about them. Hearing from him, I called the Madison County Commission Chairman Mac McCutcheon and told him about the problem. He told me flags get replaced regularly and the flag I was calling about would be fixed quickly. And less than three hours ago, sure enough, new flags were hoisted up here at the Madison County Service Center. And I'm told that the old ones were disposed of properly. And as for Mr. Horner, he told me that he hopes folks will look at these new flags and remember and honor the folks, the soldiers who made sacrifices for American freedom. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Jillian K. Way 31 News.